A monument to honor fallen military members and their families was unveiled today in Jefferson Town. There was a Gold Star Families Memorial Monument ceremony this afternoon. Our Jamie Mays explains how the monument is ensuring history is not forgotten. This monument in Jefferson Town serves as a reminder of the men and women who died while serving their country and the families they left behind. You get this gold star, nobody wants it, nobody wants to join this group, but this gold star re represents the ultimate sacrifice. On Sunday, this monument was unveiled during a gold star family's memorial ceremony at Veterans Memorial Park. All soldiers will tell you that the one thing that they don't want to happen is to be forgotten once they've died. That's why Lynn Romans is ensuring her son's memory lives on. Sergeant Darren Potter served in the Kentucky Army National Guard. After 9-11, he was sent to Iraq. He died in September of 2003. The night of his death, they, there was an, uh, an incident that was going on at Ebigar Prison. Um, and they, a convoy went that way to check on it and came under fire by Iraqi insurgents. He was 24 years old. To honor fallen military members like Potter, city leaders reached out to the Woody Williams Foundation, asking for this monument for Gold Star families. It's one of about 100 placed throughout the country. I implore you to come by, say a prayer, and say thank you to all those families that have given their sacrifice. Because for them, that loved one will never come home. Well, this brings some closure to the families, we hope. It also gives them a place to come, a place to meditate, and a place to think about their sons and the other fallen sons and daughters. And to ensure their service will forever be remembered. It's important that, that people recognize the sacrifice of the, the service member, but the families too. I mean, you know, it's a loss that will never be be regained. Jamie Mays, WLKY News. And more great news. Another 75 monuments are in the process of being built across the country, including one in Shelby County.